Hello friends, this is Shailendra Singh and today I am going to tell you what is Oracle SRV CTL. What is Oracle SRV CTL? This is known as Server Control Utility. With the help of this utility, we can administer Oracle Real Application Cluster, Databases and Instances. The Server Control Utility is installed on the each node by default. You can use SRVCTL to start and stop the database and instances, manage configuration information and to move or remove instances and services. You can also use SRVCTL to add services. SRVCTL also manages configuration information. Some SRVCTL operations Store configuration information in the Oracle cluster registry. SRVCTL performs other operations such as starting and stopping instance by sending requests to the Oracle cluster where processes, which then starts and stops the Oracle cluster where resource. SRVCTL general cluster database administration task. The general administ database administration Task are start and stop cluster database, start and stop cluster database instances, start, stop and relocate cluster database services, obtain the status of cluster database, cluster database instances or cluster database services. The service utility node level task, the node level task are adding or deleting node level application, setting and unsetting the environment for node level application, administrating node application, administrating ASM instances, starting and stopping a group of programs that include virtual IP addresses, listeners, Oracle notification services, and Oracle Enterprise Manager agents. To obtaining command line help from SRVCTL, to see help for all SRVCTL command from the command line, we have to enter SRVCTL hyphen H to see the command syntax and a list of options of for each SRVCTL command. From the command line enter, we have to enter SRVCTL command object hyphen H. There are more than hundreds SRVCTL commands and we will now demonstrate few and run them on a server. There are some commands which I am going to show you. SRVCTL config database will show the configuration of the database on the cluster. SRVCTL start database hyphen D ORCL. ORCL is the primary name of the database. So similarly, SRVCTL stop database hyphen D ORCL. These commands will start and stop the database on all the nodes of the cluster. If I have to stop a particular instance, then I have to issue the command SRVCTL stop instance hyphen D ORCL minus i for this instance and after that instance name ORCL2. In similar fashion we can start the instance. There are some node apps. I am going to show you how to start and stop the node apps. So you can see the SRVCTL config listener. You can see the configuration of the listener and if we have to stop the listener in SRVCTL stop listener hyphen listener and listener name SRVCTL start listener hyphen listener listener name will start the listener and similarly I'm going to show you some more node apps like VIP to start and stop so let's move on the server right away. I have two server RHL-1 and 
RHL hyphen two. These are the two node cluster, and uh, yeah, you can see here RHL hyphen two, and uh, we are going to show you how CRCTL command works. So first, I'm showing you CRCTL config database. FND ORCL. You can see here database unit name ORCL, database name ORCL, Oracle home, path of the Oracle home, Oracle user, server parameter file, path with the name, password file path with the name database role management policy this group type RAC database instances are there two instances are there ORCL1 and ORCL2 running on the node rhl-1 and rhl-2 so by the srvctl config we can see what is the configuration of our database there and now i'm going to stop the status uh, of the database for instance rcl1 is running on node RHL-1 and instance RCL-2 is running on node RCL-2 and now I'm going to show you by stopping the both the nodes instances so command is there SRVC till stop database hyphen D RCL so it is now you can see on the second node by the trace file it is stopping the database on both the nodes because SRVC will stop database minus D or CL will stop database on all the nodes configured so you can see database has been shut down on both the nodes instance shut down complete you can see here and now I am going to start the database and uh, SRVC till start database minus D ORCL will insta start the instance on both the nodes simultaneously you can see here on the second node trace files that instance is starting now so service it will stop is used to stop the database service it will start to start the database On, on both or as many as node we have in the cluster so you can see that with the instance has been started well it has been started and now I am going to show you by stopping a particular instance by SRVCTL command so SRVCTL stop instance hyphen D RCL and uh, minus I for the instance and uh, RCL2 so its second nodes instance is being shut down and uh, first node instance 
will be not be shut down and uh, will be available for the normal usage. You can see our alert from the alert log it's being shut down. So I'm going to show you CS minus A of clip keep on on the first node that it will showing whether it is showing that RCL1 is running there on the first node and uh, if I fire the same command here you can see there is no PMON for the Oracle instance only ASM instance is running in there so now I am going to start the second instance by the command service it will start instance fmd orcl database name minus i instance name orcl2 so it is starting the second instance and now I am going to show you some node apps how we can start or stop the node apps by srvctl command so srvctl config listener it is showing that listener is running listener is enabled and running so if I have to stop the listener I will give a command star srvctl stop listener minus listener and listener name and uh, I am now going to show you that listener has been stopped by the command CR, crctl start as fmt so you can see here on the first line that listener target is offline state is offline on the both the nodes so I am going to start the listener by service till start listener iPhone listener and listener name and now you can see here that node app listener is target is online and state is online so it's up and running on both the nodes and uh, now I am going to show you the status of VIP on first node it's enabled and running similarly on second node it's enabled and running so I will stop the VIP on the second node so command is service it will stop vip hyphen vip and node name nsf for the first three so you can see here that on node 2 vip is offline and status and target is offline while on the first node it's running online online is there so you can start the node up again by service till start vip hyphen vip and vip name so you can see here that on the second node vip is up and running 